Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Please feel free to write to me at walkwithtak.gmail.com if you have any question regarding to this video or any other videos that I have posted in the past. If you have any comment or any video that you would like me to make, uh, please enter below the video. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you. And the goal of my YouTube channel is quite different from other cooking channels. Uh, I would like to show you the fast cooking system, uh, which is flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template based cooking. The idea of the fast cooking system is to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routine so you can put a meal on the table in less than 30 minutes using all fresh ingredients from scratch. Now, one of the key aspects of the fast cooking system is flavor chasing. And recently, one viewer wrote to me and asked me, uh, should she use a wine known as Shaoxing wine? I still remember that time when I was uh, in China on sabbatical. I went to a wedding and we actually toast with Shaoxing wine. Now, Shaoxing is a, a city which on the eastern coast of China. It's only about uh, 100 miles from Shanghai, so it's relatively close. It is well famous for producing this particular wine. They call it Shaoxing wine. Uh, the wine is brewed with rice. And the city, uh, the ancient old part of the city is very pretty. It is what they call a river city, that it has many canals that join the city together, and very much like Venice in certain respect. However, like everywhere else, China has undergone extensive change, and now it is a modern city with skyscrapers, and the city has really developed into a commercial center. Now, Xiaoxing wine is very famous for many reasons. This Xiaoxing wine is called Nuer Hong. It has an interesting history um, because this wine was originated that when a family gave birth to a daughter, uh, they will uh, collect a jar of wine and they will bury this wine uh, in their backyard. And the whole idea is that when the daughter uh, married and they will take up the wine and they will drink the wine for the celebration. So um, this, of course, they don't do it anymore. But the brand of this wine remained to be very popular. Xiaoxing wine um, in many parts of the world are used mainly as cooking wine. But however, in China, Xiaoxing wine is really a table wine, a wine that people drink. And there are many different brands of uh, Xiaoxing wine. Uh, but most of them, actually, I would say almost all of them are come from the city of Xiaoxing, and which how it defined uh, the nature of this wine. But today, in most places, Shaoxing wine is mainly used as a cooking wine, and there are many different brands. And uh, it's kind of, for beginners, it's quite confusing. And most of the time, um, I will buy some which are about medium in price. Uh, you can buy Shaoxing wine in many Asian grocery stores or supermarkets all over the country. And they usually cost about uh, somewhere between 5 to $10 for the bottle. Now, when you buy Xiaoxing wine, uh, you basically buying a wine specifically for cooking. So this is usually uh, not for drinking. And the flavor is slightly different from the regular of uh, table wine that use the Xiaoxing brand. Now, it turns out that there are many different types of cooking wines. There are white wines, which are also brew from rice. And then there are what they call a dark wine, and then which brewed by uh, dark rice. And of course, Shaoxing wine has its own unique brewing technique. But uh, most of the cooking wine are frequently known as a fortified wine. Now, many of you are probably familiar with uh, uh, the regular table wine, which has a low alcohol content. However, uh, when you come to different type of uh, alcoholic beverages. If you go up and you will see that um, the fortified wine, which right in the middle, uh, has a alcohol content, which about 17%. And usually a table wine is about 12%. The reason that uh, wine is being fortified because uh, once you reach certain percentage point, microorganism no longer able to grow in it, so it will not be spoiled. And 70% seems to be the cutting point. And then if you go up to other alcohol, say up to 24%, 40%, uh, those become liqueur, and those will not spoil, so you can keep them for as long as you want. And 
cooking wine fall into this fortified wine category. So you can buy fortified wine and keep them uh, in room temperature uh, for many years and they will still be good. However, table wine, once you open it, as we all know, uh, they will deteriorate in quality because of uh, many changes, particularly um, that microorganism might affect some of the quality of the table wine. So in Shaoxing, uh, the wine is, uh, as you would imagine, uh, it is brewed through rice. And uh, the, this uh, approach has been used for many, many generations. And in Shaoxing wine, in addition to uh, adding the use of rice for brewing, they add some additional ingredients that is responsible for creating the type of flavor that associate with Shaoxing wine. Now, when you get a bottle of Shaoxing wine, the best thing for you to do is to just taste the flavor of it. Just drink a little bit, see how you like it. Now, most people will find the Shaoxing wine actually is quite salty, and uh, that is part of the nature of the wine. And Shaoxing wine is very characteristic in Chinese cooking because when you uh, eat Chinese food, some of the distinct characteristics actually uh, come from Shaoxing wine. But today, Shaoxing wine become increasingly popular in other types of cuisine as well. And uh, you can use Shaoxing wine in many different types of uh, dishes, not just in Chinese dishes. In South Asia, Shaoxing wine is very popular. But now Shaoxing wine has been uh, also adopted in French, Italian, German, and other types of uh, cooking. And this is clear indication of the fusion nature of the world cuisine. And ultimately, this provides us the best opportunity uh, to uh, create a flavor that we love. Now, when you use Shaoxing wine, uh, particularly in stir-fry, if you want the wine flavor to be distinctive, you should always add the wine to your dish at the last minute during your stir-frying. Like in this case, I am making a lo mein. Uh, I finish uh, stir-fry the vegetables and I also add the noodles to it. And then now I am adjusting the flavor. And normally, uh, again, as always, for convenience, I use a combination of hoisin sauce and oyster sauce. Now, at this point, uh, you can add additional uh, flavor. And in this case, I adding some Shaoxing wine right to the noodles. And this is where you're going to get the maximum impact of the Shaoxing wine. If you add it too early, uh, the flavor tend to be fade away. It's pretty much uh, up to you, and this is where flavor chasing uh, plays a very important role. Now, Shaoxing wine has been really popular from the standpoint uh, of its uh, ability uh, to enhance the flavor of a dish. In many ways, Shaoxing wine adds umami flavor to a dish. It makes a dish more savory. And by adjusting with different amount of Shaoxing wine, uh, you can achieve different flavor profile and characteristics. Now, some people ask me, uh, sh how much Shaoxing wine should I use? Uh, should I use one tablespoon, two tablespoon? That is every, very much up to your personal preference. Uh, whatever you use, I think depend on the dishes as well, and also depend on the food ingredients that you have in the dish. Certain food ingredients uh, will integrate with the Shaoxing wine much better than the others. So try and error is probably the best thing for you to achieve. Again, Shaoxing wine is one of those uh, uh, seasoning agents uh, that I store them in squeeze bottles. So this way, I can add uh, the amount of Shaoxing wine I need uh, more spontaneously rather than to try to measure it out. So uh, each time when you try this wine in different type of cooking approach, uh, you will again experience and you will learn which ingredients will fit better. So the basic guideline is that uh, always add it toward the end. That will help you to get the maximum flavor that you want. Okay, I hope this is helpful. Uh, I post a video each day uh, to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routine using my fast cooking system so that your home cooking will be practical, efficient, creative, and fun. The most important is that I would like you to learn how to cook with spontaneity and intuition because this is the only way for you to cook with creativity and this is the only way for you to really enjoy home cooking. So if you'd like to learn more about my fast cooking system, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. 
So keep on cooking, and I will see you tomorrow.